What's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music. Thank you for your continued support. Uh, it's a Gear Thursday video, so I'm going to talk about guitar straps today. I, br I brought three different straps that I like. I'm going to talk about them, and I'm also going to give some tips on how to transition for you beginners out there, how to transition from playing sitting down to using a strap and standing up. It's actually a question I get a lot. So let's start with the uh, three different straps I have here, the first of which is from Planet Waves. And if you look, it's a very thick, wide strap. And I like these kinds of straps, especially with super heavy guitars like a Les Paul. It distributes the weight across your shoulder and neck wider at a wider angle so there's less pressure uh, you know, on your, on your neck and spine. So this is Planet Waves. It's a super thick strap. I like it a lot, especially with heavy guitars. All right, put that one down. Now, this one I like to use, oops, this one I like to use, uh, especially with my Fender guitars, my Tele and my Strats. One, it's very cool. Look, it looks like a, you know, maybe like a seat belt, right? An army seat belt or something like that. Well, this is a company that I actually really, they make probably the, the coolest, like funkiest straps, and they're nice and affordable. They're called Couch. The company is called Couch Straps. I see them uh, do a lot of ads on Instagram. Um, I bought this one, but uh, anyway, if you go check out Couch Straps, they're just your kind of standard uh, looking strap as far as the width, the way they strap on. You know, it's a very uh, traditional looking guitar strap like the old Fender straps, but they come in really cool uh, material and really cool patterns and colors. So. Couch Straps Guitars, put that one there. The last one I like as well for um, the heavier guitars, my hollow bodies and my Les Pauls. This is called a Comfort Strap. This is probably the strap I use the most. Now, if you look at it, it's, uh, you can see how it's, it's wider at this end. So the Comfort Strap here is made of stretchy wetsuit material. Um, I'm trying to think what you call wetsuit material, but it's definitely, you know, it's spongy, it's flexible. And what happens is the longer you, and I'll put the thicker, the thicker end of it over my shoulder that connects to the guitar. Oops, just drop my pick, classic. So it's not called the comfort strap for nothing, but with that soft material, material as well, you know, you don't really get any of that potential chafing on your, on your neck either. So that's it. Three different straps to choose from. I use them all, but I probably use the comfort strap the most because it's the most comfortable. Hey, go figure. All right. So now I want to talk about how to transition from playing sitting down to standing up. A lot of it is, is kind of common sense, but there are tips that I ha have found to work. So here they are. One, you just got to start doing it more. A lot of people, find, like bar chords are the, are the same thing. People have difficulty with them and then they avoid them. And everyone sucked at bar chords at first. It's the people that kept repeating it, even though it sounded crappy, to let it get better and let them get more comfortable with it. So one, you just gotta do it more. But here's another thing. If you're used to playing sitting down, like I am right now, what you wanna do, it will help to have someone, you know, someone to help you out, but basically, you start using a strap sitting down and you adjust the strap to be the height of where you're comfortably playing sitting down. So I've got the strap on right here. You know, I could choke up on it a little bit, which I can, this, I'm cheating because it's got a different hole here. So I'm choking up to where it's pretty much where it would be either way. Another thing as a beginner, you might just want to choke it up all the way even higher and just start getting used to that and then lower it as you get more comfortable. But basically, I'm using a strap sitting down. I've adjusted the strap to how I'm sitting here and then I'm just gonna stand up like that.
All right, and then I just start practicing standing up. But another good tip is just to keep choking it up really high if you're having problems with it. A lot of it has to do with when you're sitting, you kind of look down at your hand and maybe your guitar's tilted a bit. So that's gonna be one of the reasons. Um, but yeah, choke up on it and then practice with the strap when you're sitting down so you get better at that transition, all right? Thanks again for hanging out. Uh, let me know other gear you'd like to see me cover in the comments below and uh, we'll see you again real soon.